Hi everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to ITBK with an in tune quick tutorial about corporate device identifiers. In this short lecture, we will learn that how we can identify corporate on devices or how we can add corporate devices to our Microsoft Intune using Intune corporate device identifier. So first, let's discuss what are device identifiers. Intune corporate device identifier are unique identifiers assigned to devices that are owned and managed by an organization using Microsoft Intune. These identifiers are crucial for distinguishing corporate devices from personal devices in a bring your own device environment. By using corporate device identifier, IT administrator can enforce specific policies, deploy applications, and manage security settings exclusively on these corporate assets. This ensures that sensitive organizational data is protected while providing a clear framework for managing the life cycle of these devices. Additionally, these identifiers aid in efficient inventory management and reporting, enabling organizations to maintain compliance and optimize their device management processes. Intune device identifier offers several advantages that enhance device management and security within the organization, facilitating streamlined management of mobile devices, tablets and PC by utilizing device organizations can enforce security policy effectively, manage applications deployment and ensure compliance with regulatory standard. Moreover, device identifier help in maintaining accurate inventory record and support troubleshooting by providing detailed information about device types and statuses. This capability ultimately leads to improved operational efficiency, better resource allocation, and enhance overall security posture for organization. To get to corporate device identifier, you have to log in into Microsoft in June by using this URL and you must be a global administrator or in tune services administrator to perform any configuration steps with corporate device identifier. So once you are in Microsoft in Tune Home, then go to devices directly and in the devices section, scroll down and find the enrollment section here. In the enrollment section, you can go to corporate device identifier here. In this corporate device identifier section, you gonna import devices which you own, right? Or the corporate devices which are owned by the company. Let's suppose your company have bought some of the devices from a manufacturer or your organization bought the licenses of some of the devices from a specific manufacturer. For example, from Apple Store, from Dell Store, or from Microsoft Store, or we can say from HP or Mac Store. Previously, corporate device identifier was only supported for Android and iOS devices. But recently, Microsoft has announced the support for Windows devices as well. So when you bought devices from any manufacturer, you can say like 100 devices or 1000 devices, they will be giving you a CSV file or the file that have the devices information, including serial number or IMEI that could be registered in Intune device, corporate device identifier in Microsoft Intune and that file should be delivered before delivering the devices so that you can complete corporate device identifier configuration in Microsoft in June. And once you got that information in a CSV file or a notepad file, that will be very easier for you to import that information of the devices directly to Microsoft Intune corporate device 
identifier section here, right? And here you could select IMEI or serial number or the manufacturer model and serial number. This is for Windows only. And I'm very happy to tell you that Microsoft also started supporting Windows for device identifier. So now uh, let's go ahead and try to upload corporate device identifier that we have gotten from the manufacturer, right, where we have ordered the devices. So let's go ahead and click on add and click on upload file manually. Here, I want to select serial number, right? I could also select Windows, right? Selecting identifier type, manufacturer, model, and serial number Windows only means only devices matching this list will be defined at corporate on this means all other devices enrolling will be defined as personal right for you those time so let's say uh, let's first go ahead and try with serial number and we will go for windows as well i have a csv file at a desktop here let's select that and let's add that file it's adding the device with adding three device identifier here let me show you the format of device identifier for example i've added the serial number on the left side and then here device detail you can say here like android windows like device one for example if you want to say uh device 2 this is just for your explanation that we can enter the information like this so once i've entered the details i got device identifier here identifier type serial and details are here and we have also got the date of entering device identifier and status is still not connected because these devices are not connected to microsoft in june yet and this could be a maximum of 5000 devices or you can say 5 mb and remember that on the left hand i have defined the serial number and on the right hand you can name the devices i like i have entered here device one device two or device detail let's say uh, we have entered a device identifier here and later on we got the request that we have one or more additional devices and we could also enter those devices manually here right so i'm showing you how to add them manually let's add any serial number okay and let's say uh yeah the details windows front office let's say i want to add this manually i got this device later on so i have added this device here and it's still adding hopefully this will add this device to device identifier list perfect i've gotten this windows front office device in the list and let's go ahead and uh the next thing I want to check here that let's say if you want to add Windows devices here and let's change the serial number a little here and I will try to add these devices. So now I have a CSV file uh, for Windows devices and I want to add Windows devices here in my test environment. The file cannot be imported the file cannot have more than 5000 rows confirm the line one contains a valid serial number and the triple information is in the format of manufacturer model and the serial number no problem let's go ahead and let me quickly uh, edit this device identifier for adding windows devices and i will again start the video okay so uh, what i have done that uh, i have found a format of adding windows devices right and this could be the format and if you see the format is already defined here manufacturer model serial number and let's try 
to add the updated CSV file here. And it's pick up my file successfully. That's very perfect. Let's add this. So now we are adding a Windows devices here as well. And looks like this will add our these devices in few seconds here. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. I've got these three Windows devices here as well. So one more in important information I want to share uh, at the end that if you want to add device identifier for your current device, you can go to devices and then go to all devices here you will find that devices or in tune corporate or personal you can go to uh, the device in the overview you can find device model and in the property section you could get this detail of this device to add this device as uh, in the device identifier section uh, here are the detailed model of the device yeah also we have the serial number of this device that's perfect i've also got a chance to explain you that if you want to add our current device into device identifier so that's perfect we have covered today in our tutorial about in tune corporate device identifier setup we have seen how to add a device identifier using a csv file how we can add them manually for android for ios for mac devices and at the end we have seen how we can do that for windows devices as well and we have also seen that if we want to add the current device identifier here as a corporate device identifier we can go to the property section on or an overview section of the device by going to devices and we can get the detailed serial number or any detail like that and we can register here in our corporate device identifier section i hope you enjoyed this video and have learned something that will help you in managing your devices in Intune. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Take care. Bye.